Hey guys, Monster Diner Reviews. We've got another video today. So I don't know if you just watched the last one, the mystery box, but this is the first dinosaur from the mystery box, the Strike and Raw Giganotosaurus. If you've watched the channel, you'll see that I reviewed the Colossal Giganotosaurus a few videos back. And this one just fits more in scale with your standard toy line. So it's just better for overall, you know, for kids playability, um, but for even for adults, just for like collecting sake this one just fits in more so we're going to open it up now let's have a look at him i can see straight away he's got a swivel joint here for his body so that's got some articulation it's going to be interesting to see what he can do it says there he's the strike and raw giganotosaurus so yeah let's take these ones off and that's those out and then i just need to take the side out now in terms of packaging it's actually quite a bit longer than the normal packaging they come in they're normally around this sort of size but i guess that's because he's got his tail attached so as you can see he follows the typical green and dark green or dark gray color scheme yeah we'll take a look at that in a second so let's just get this out one on the side here to remove and there's another one here actually now guys i'm a little bit annoyed because upon looking at this figure i can see there is some slight damage on the top of the spine there so i don't know if you can make that out but i'll point it out for you this one has missing some paint so that's manufacturing damage because i guess just because the, the figure is open top which is a negative okay now that's out we've got these bottom pins that are pretty typical as well now, guys, you can take them out from the bottom here. As you can see, he's got one of those strips to remove. But I feel like this is a better way. If you just take off... That's a loud roar. Um, so I feel like it's better if you just take off the bits of the side here. Then you can take that back up and it preserves all the box. But anyway, let's get these out. And the jigger is now free and he stands up pretty well on the carpet even but we've got this handy little platform here to use so let's put him on there and i'll move this forwards there we go so as you can see guys he's got a really nice paint scheme it's very accurate to the jurassic world dominion film with the sage color on dark green slash gray and yeah well let's take a look at him from the front and the other side now, like I was saying, there is some shipping damage on him because a couple of these spines have got missing pieces of paint, which is a really annoying flaw with the open top boxes. So let's take a look at the features here. Uh, now, first, I think it'd be better to use something for scale. So let's get the Thrash and Devour T-Rex for scale here, guys, because that's the line he fits. So as you can see, both figures are actually roughly the same size. I would say the jigger is just ever so slightly longer, as you can see. And yeah, the jigger just overall matches the look from the films. But I think, do you know what? It would actually be better to compare him to the Extreme Damage T-Rex because that's close to the scale. Because in the films, I think the jigger was supposed to be bigger than the T-Rex. Obviously, it's very hard to tell because they're moving very fast, but yeah. This T-Rex seems like it's better for scale. So there you go, that's the two next to each other. And yeah, the extreme damage T-Rex is about two thirds the length of the Jigger. So that fits a little bit better, but I guess it could just be down to different sizes. You know, if you've got a Thrash and Devour T-Rex, that might just be a larger one. Um, as both these dinosaurs were pretty similar in size. Now he's got two features here, guys. Let's take a look at the articulation and the mouth sculpt. I like how his teeth are like incisors and they intersect much like a crocodile would do. Um, his arms, well, his body tilts upwards, as you can see, but his arms are just on a rotating joint. There is no extra joint here, which is a shame because it'd be nice to pose those. And yeah, the same for the legs, you know, they just go forwards and backwards. They're on the similar sort of ones as the T-Rex. Massive feet as well. And the tail, which actually wiggles much like those old snake toys you used to get. So that just wiggles in movement. So he's got these two features. He's got the strike uh, function, which is here. And there we go. He thrashes about, which 
is cool. Very much like a monitor lizard, actually. And underneath, he's got a button to open his jaws, which is on the normal mechanism. So you can do both. So really, really awesome on the features here, guys. And like I said, I'm just still a bit bummed out about that missing on the top. Now I've got a bit of paint that I can apply to it and just sort of smooth that over. But yeah, definitely very annoying. But overall, the figure is really good with a very high quality. So I'm happy with the figure. And it does just give me the perfect scale Giganotosaurus, Giganotosaurus to use for my display piece. So again, here's him next to the Extreme Damage T-Rex and top down. You can see that's a good scale match there for the two dinosaurs. And we'll get the Hammond Collection T-Rex in here for scale as well. Now the Hammond Collection T-Rex is actually a little bit bigger. If I move these toys around, you can see that the Hammond Collection T-Rex is the biggest of the three by quite some way. And that's adding the Thrash and Devour T-Rex in here as well. As you can see, his head is just oversized. The Thrash and Devour T-Rex just has a massive head relative to the other models and the top down so we just move him a little bit forwards so yeah just a little bit bigger than the jigger that rhymes and yeah that's that's about it for this one thing i'm going to try and do guys is try his thrashing ability and we're going to try and thrash the other t-rex so let's get him off here now and try that I'm gonna have to angle him downwards to get this to work. There you go. That's about the best I can do. Here he is next to the monster of a figure that is the super colossal Giganotosaurus. As you can see, the scale on this thing is just silly. Um, it's gotta be double the length of the scaled down Giganotosaurus that we've got here. And that's the two next to each other. get the top down as well guys there you go okay guys thank you for watching that's going to be it for this video please like comment and subscribe check out the other videos on the channel and i will see you in the next video